Aloha! Top of the morning, friends and family. We're doing a video today. It's going to be fun. Uh, usually we upload beautifully edited Shut cinematic masterpieces to this channel. But however, Shut today... What? What? Hi. <laughs> this video is uncut. And today's uncut, we got some friends over. We're hanging out with snakes, and I got a new lens, so I thought it'd be fun to try it out. Look, oh, it zooms in way further than the other one used to. It zooms out a little further than the other one used to, and it, it's, it's, you probably can't tell the difference. Leave a comment down below if you can tell the difference in quality. You watch the videos all the time, and you can tell, like, can you see the spider webs on the fan that I need to clean? That would be a good way to Bye. tell. Bye. What's up? Can I, um, what a snake? What I think you're supposed to have a snake when I started the video. I'll get you one. So here's here's what we're doing today. Here's These girls are gonna ask me questions and we're gonna see if I know anything anymore. My brain's been through a lot. And I'm Who you got there, Avi? I have midnight. <laughs> That's a perfect example like how I'm gonna answer questions. I have uh, I um, hold on. Mm, uh, yep, I that's and, and <laughs> yeah. I and I have Lucky. I have Sabe. Yeah. Oh, focus on Lucky. Focus on Lucky. Come on, new lens. There we go. Oh, that looks pretty nice. That looks pretty good. Is that oh. It's like, it's like what? We used to, we had a gopher snake uh, at a program I used to go to that had, was named Handcuffs for that same reason. And who you got here? Sorbet. We just Sorbet? named her. Matches your shirt. Oh, yeah. We call it strawberry lemonade sorbet. <laughs> like your shirt. Yeah, that's really close, actually. <clears throat> yeah, Zaya. Daisy, Daisy. Yeah? Did you get bit by a snake today? Yes. So. Yeah? It doesn't How, hurt. It doesn't hurt? No. Did, would you, uh, obviously didn't keep you from holding snakes. Would you get bit by a snake again? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 what? <laughs> what are you talking about, fool? Um, anybody got it? Who's got a question? So, so this is also you guys, too. Cause you got perfect. What's your question? How many snakes do you own? How many snakes do I own? <clears throat> to be 100% honest with you, more feels like these snakes all own me because I got to take care of them. And uh, my, my time is owed to them, whereas they could probably take or leave me personally. Does it make sense? Kind of. What? But to, this is how you'll get used to me at some point, how I answer questions. Yeah, not straightforward ever. Um, there are probably about... 70 snakes in this room and there could be up to 100 at any point you know maybe or more depending on how many hatch out something like that i may have three eggs wait no how many eggs say again how many eggs do we have we have a total of we got a mama in here that's got six eggs that she's got wrapped up if you guys watched the last video you saw it was really cool actually what's happening here let me take another little peek at them She's probably getting tired of me bothering her and showing the eggs off, but she, it's all right. We're building one, trust. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, I think. Yeah, there's, so there's six in there, and then there's two more in the incubator behind me that she kicked out and wasn't being a good mom about. So I said, all right, I'll babysit two of your kids for you, and that won't be a problem. Hey, if you y'all want to chime in with some questions too, feel free. Is that one about to poop? Why is it like Singing? skinnier? Uh, why is that this one, one skinny at the top and then like fat at the bottom? Yeah, it never did though. Let's take a look at this. Your mom had a question. Why is this snake skinny at the top and fatter at the bottom? Did you get peed on today? No. Um, no? Yes. Yes? <laughs> on the foot. <laughs> it's, a, it's a building up poop. <laughs> it's a lot of poop. Yeah, they got peed on and we were waiting for her to poop and I took like a 13 minute video. Right there. And she never pooped. That's pee. So, oh, so here was another good teachable moment. These are called. That's, how is that pee? It's urates. They're, it's urates. It comes out with their pee, so it's uh, it's kind of like birds do it, I think, too. But it's urates. But I think it's their like d digested, like the bones they digest and stuff. That's how I see it. That's what I bought. That's what I thought. It made sense to me. It's like white, like bones. I thought it was poo because like. It's kind of part of the poo, but it's more the pee. It's called it's urates. Oh. Urates is the right term. You see the white parts are called urates. Can you say oh. urates? Urates. That's good. You got a question? Um, yes, I'm thinking of one. My mom here is a beta snakes. Hey, we need a question out here. Anybody out here got a question? What kind of question? 
a snake question. Yes. question. Um, why do you save the shed? Why do you save the shed? Why do you save the shed? Why do I save the shed? Yeah. It's actually a really good question. Why do we save the shed? There's a couple reasons. One reason is we can give sheds away as little gifts for kids that want to have some snake shed after they've learned about how snakes are and how they shed all their skin in one piece. The other reason you should save shed is because they're doing a big project right now over at Rare Genetics Incorporated. It's, it started to launch and, and things like that. I actually have some shed that I'm saving here in a bag so they can do the genetic testing and find out uh, the different, well, they're mapping out the genome basically right now for different snakes. And uh, if you save your sheds and send it off to Rare Genetics Incorporated, we can get all the simple recessive traits mapped out and move that project forward. So that's why you save your shed. Save your shed if you got, if you got, go to the Rare Genetics Incorporated website, check out the link and see how many of the simple recessive traits they have mapped out at this point. And if there's ones that are still working on, that means they need more sheds so they can continue testing and map out the genome. Was that enough time for you to think of your question, Snake Carol Girl? Yeah. Yeah? What's your question? Yeah. <laughs> what about you, mommies? I just asked you one. Oh, you did just ask me one. You're right. You're, you're winning. <clears throat> we'll see. Do I have a question for myself? Hmm. No, I think that's it. I think we tap them out for questions. And mommy's, mommy's interrupting my video. It's alright. It's, right. it's fine. Yeah, it's only an uncut video. It's a new lens, though. I'm happy about that. Whoa. Yeah, that's yeah, a. Um, I'm excited about this new lens. For one of them. Did you think of a question yet? Little black boots. Mm, cool thing. It was. It was. Has. Has. Um. Has. <laughs> <laughs> um. Do you? <laughs> it was. No, I remember now. <laughs> <laughs> come out? Do I have to keep it? Can I keep it? <laughs> if the snake doesn't come out of your hair, do you have to keep it? Is that the question? Yes. What do you think about well, that? Can you watch it yes. until it gets out? Yes. Can you watch yes. it until it gets out? Yes. No, I, I think that if the snake stays in your hair, that means it's your snake and you have to keep it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 right. I hope, oh, you got another question? What's the average lifespan of this little guy? Um, that little guy, colubrids um, have a faster metabolism, so they don't tend to live as long as uh, things like pythons and, and boas and things that, that don't have as fast of metabolism. In my experience, colubrids are a little faster. But I think that, you know, average lifespan of pythons for a long time was stated at like about 25 years in captivity. But I think that's because a lot of people were overfeeding a lot of times. So shortening their lifespan, it's been shown that they can live much longer than that in captivity. For a colubrid, you know, maybe more like 10 to 15 year span was given, but I think you could probably have one live like 25 years, one of those snakes. I have two questions. Can I hold another baby snake and, um, and how big will this get? That little snake right there in your hair is actually going to be staying somewhat small because her growth was stunted because she was not eating at the experiment they were doing at Cal Poly with her. Wait, snake. so that's, this one's lucky? That's what, yeah, she's lucky. lucky. That's, that's how I ended up with her because she wasn't eating can right. Hold can you hold another baby snake? Yes, you can. And we're going to end this video. You guys have a great day. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh. Bye. Bye. Aloha. Bye.